Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with my good friend Walt McLean behind the camera. And today we're going to take a short look at the 2016 Jaguar F-Type R convertible. And some of you are going to say, well didn't you guys do the Jaguar? Well yes we did, we've done the F-Type last year, it was in the coupe, hardtop obviously. This is the full convertible which honestly we are a very big fan of. This is a short review though so we're just going to talk about a little bit what's new show you a little bit around the car and head out if you want to know more about this. We did a long review, we got inside the car, showed you what this car is about and took you for a short drive, so check that out. But as we come around to the front, going to discuss some of the features which they've added for 2016. They've added a six-speed manual for the V6 models, that's an available option. However, what they've also added is an all-wheel drive for this, for the R-Type, which is, has the big V8, or five liter V8, 550 horsepower, supercharged engine that's just a monster behemoth uh, and, but on this now is all-wheel drive which some of you are going to say wow i don't want all-wheel drive and actually as we kind of come around this front side here love the look of this and i'll get back to the all-wheel drive here in just a second love the look of the lights love the hood vents what they've added onto here just love the front of this car this car looks classy it looks professional it looks fast and oh boy is it fast? That no other way to say it. And as Walt actually kind of goes around the car here and, and I kind of tell you a little bit more about, I'm going to have him kind of give you an overhead view of the cockpit. As you notice, we do have the windows down. Uh, real quick on the all-wheel drive factor. Uh, some of you are going to say, well, I don't want that. On this car, on clean, on a dry road, good summer tires, uh, just going in a straight line, you're going to have 100% of the power to the rear wheels. When you get on a track surface, a slippery road, conditions require it. That's when 50% of the tire is gonna, or 50% of the power is gonna go to the front tires. 50% is gonna stay at the back, and actually, it gives you better control over the car than if you just had standard rear wheel drive. And somebody said, "No, I want rear wheel drive." Well, I can tell you this: if you're gonna take this car out on the road or, or out on a slippery surface at all, you want that all-wheel drive. It gives you that extra capability that you do want. One last thing, I want, a couple last things I will comment. This does have the dynamic flat back here. It has, an, and I apologize, Jaguar fans, I, I, the, the exact name is slipping me right now, but the quad exhaust has that dynamic exhaust sound to it to where you can open and close the flaps, make it loud or make it quiet, depending on how, you know, how loud you want to be, how ruckus you want to be. With the windows up, this car is incredibly quiet. The ride is incredibly nice and you hardly notice uh, barely anything. I actually had my wife with me last night. She, she was commenting about how little the wind actually does affect you in this, in this vehicle. And I will tell you this, a one-of-a-kind machine. No other way to say it, it's gonna be incredibly difficult to give this thing back. Uh, Jaguar, two thumbs up in our opinion. You've done an incredible job with this vehicle. Keep making them. If you're interested in this car, this, this model right here with several options on it, as well as obviously the convertible, $120,000 and some change. Uh, if you're wanting to learn more about this car, head to our long review, head to Jaguar's website, and if you really want to get in this vehicle, head to your local Jaguar dealer and tell them that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.